What will happen to your body if you eat prunes every day? Is it more beneficial or harmful? Who should not eat prunes? This video contains objective facts, tested and reviewed by qualified experts. Let's take a look at a few reasons why you should eat prunes every day. If you want to be healthy, put a like and we'll get started. And so, for the first time, prunes were discovered as far back as the 6th century BC. Then even the ancient Egyptians noticed that the plum, after lying in the sun, strangely enough, does not spoil, but simply dries out, and yet still remains delicious and nutritious. Thus, prunes are one of the earliest dried fruits. But prunes reached Russia only in the 17th century. Prunes, it is perhaps the most useful of all dried fruits. It is obtained by drying a variety of plums. If you are a good prune, should be quite soft, but elastic, and if all the technologies are observed, approximately from 1 kilogram of plums you get 200 grams of prunes. And when people say prunes, the first thing that comes to mind is to improve the work of our digestive tract. But this is far from its only property. And so, what will happen to your body? The first effect is, of course, the normalization of digestion. And it happens, first of all, because of the fact that there is quite a lot of fiber. Just two berries of prunes, in terms of fiber content, are equal to a whole banana. And the other very important thing, and which is in prunes is the unique bifidobacteria, which are very healthy to improve the microflora of your intestines. So, if someone had problems with stool, good old prunes solved this problem literally one or two times. Not easy, but very easy. Next item, our bones. Prunes are a great food for preventing osteoporosis. It's great for preventing brittle bones. Researchers at the University of Florida found that eating 10 prune berries daily significantly reduces the likelihood of osteoporosis and subsequently helps avoid fractures. Next point. You will have a healthier heart. The fact is that polyphenol, as well as potassium and other micronutrients that are found in prunes will make your vessel walls elastic and strong. They will also healthfully strengthen your heart muscle and normalize your heart rate. Therefore, it has been observed that those people who consume prunes regularly have a reduced likelihood of cardiovascular diseases. Next point. Slowing down aging. The fact is that prunes are very rich in a large number of antioxidant compounds, and they allow our body to resist the influence of free radicals. Thus, it slows down the aging process and reduces permanent microinflammation in our tissues. Separately, it is worth saying about the vitamins in prunes. Quite a lot of such vitamins as A, B, L and C. They, in turn, take a very large part in the formation of our immunity. They also improve the work of the cardiovascular system and stomach. But carotenoids, that is, vitamin A, have a very healthy effect on our eyesight. Also in prunes there are a lot of minerals, potassium, calcium, magnesium and phosphorus. They will be good for our bones, as I said, but also for our teeth, hair, and our skin. Also prunes contain iron, which will help prevent anemia. So if you have avitaminosis, frequent colds, weak immunity and generally lack of vitamins and minerals, prunes are certainly worth adding to your diet. An excellent natural source of vitamins and minerals for your body. The next point, this is the effect on water metabolism and kidney function. The fact is that prunes have a fairly mild diuretic effect. Thus, it will help to cope with edema and improve the work of your kidneys. And the removal of excess fluid will have a very beneficial effect on your cardiovascular system and on your appearance. Well, if there are any contraindications, any side effects and negative effects of prunes. In fact, there are not so many. In general, prunes are a very healthy product but some undesirable manifestations are still possible. Therefore, we will tell about them. First, after all, prunes are sweet, that is, they contain a lot of simple sugars. Therefore, consuming too much prunes, you can potentially overdo the calories, which can lead to obesity. Though here, of course, you have to try your best. Prunes have a glycemic index of 40. This is not a high index, that is, it will not provoke a significant increase in blood sugar and the corresponding release of insulin. Which, for example, cannot be said about dates. It seems quite similar in dried fruit prunes and dates, but dates have a glycemic index of 100, that is, they have absolute glucose. 
Prunes are much more preferable in this regard. And one more contraindication of prunes, it is if a person already has liquid stools, because prunes will lax even more. There is one more important tip. If you consume prunes, first of all, when you buy prunes, they should definitely be washed. Don't neglect this because it has been processed in the factory. It's been oiled with an oil of unknown origin, it's had a preservative added to it. And that is, some preservatives can be safe and some are undesirable. So, of course, prunes need to be washed, but it will be even better if you wash them and then soak them in hot water for 20 minutes. This will allow you to wash off a large number of additives that are on it and get the same pure product. By the way, friends, write in the comments, do you like prunes? Do you eat it? Tell us, it will be interesting. More information on this topic, you will find on our channel. Subscribe, please put a like and watch these useful videos. We look forward to your comments.